Hi everyone and welcome to lesson 5 of Central Markbook. In this lesson we're going to look at how to assign ranks and grades in our Central Markbook. So without further ado, let's dive into the tutorial. So in our last lesson we basically looked at ways of creating uh, our tasks and also performing a weighted ad for our semester 1 total. So now we're actually going to look at how to assign a rank. So again, it's another calculation that needs to be performed. So we're going to go up to new calculation here. So now we're in the area where we're going to assign our name. So I'm actually going to give this uh, the name of rank. And the column heading, if I just click there, will abbreviate that to R. And I'm just going to uh, put in whole numbers there for the decimal places. Our column group, well, this is going to uh, fall within that semester one grouping. And the type, and this is where the magic happens, this is where we're going to assign rank. So I've come down and notice that you've got a few options here. You've got rank, rank by class, rank by class, whole number. I'm going to go with the first option there. And then I'm simply going to click on next. All right, so... At this point in time, we have to choose uh, one task or calculation to rank. So you'll recall in the last video, we actually performed a calculation that gave us our semester one total. So our ranking is going to be based off our semester one total. So for this uh, example, I'm just going to click on the semester one total there, and that will turn blue. And then I'm not going to worry about switching this uh, here. I'm going to leave that off. And then I'm going to hit save. So there we have it, there's our, there's our rank. Now I'm going to have to go back into my uh, mark book for my class and you can see that this column is green. I need to actually run a calculation here in order to uh, give me the rankings. So let's click on that and we'll do the run calculation. And there you have it, we've got some rankings in there. Notice that because we don't have any data in down here, of course, it's got uh, NA there. All right, so that's the easy part there. Again, pretty straightforward. Now what we need to do is to assign grades. So again, it's going to be using a, um, a calculation there. So we're simply going to go back, edit our mark book once again, add a new calculation, and this time our name... I'm going to put as grade and the column heading will abbreviate that to G. I'll leave that as being whole numbers. I don't think that needs to be tweaked anyway. We're going to put this for the column group into semester one and this time our type, well, we're going to choose grade. Okay, simple as that, very straightforward. We'll click on next. Okay, so once again, we can see that it's uh, pulling in the three tasks. We're actually going to base our grade off the calculation for semester one total, like we did with the ranking. Now you can see here we've got use an existing scale cutoff set, we, or we could manually uh, put in our cutoffs. And let's face it, that's exactly what we should be doing. We shouldn't really be using uh, you know, a default uh, cutoff scale. However, just for the instance to make this quick, I am just going to leave it with the uh, use an existing scale for cutoff. And I'm simply going to click save. So there we have it. There's our semester one set uh, or set semester one mark book, if you like. So I've got three tasks in there. I've got my weighted ad to give me a semester one total or my overall achievement. I've got my rank and I've got my grade. If we dive in to our mark book, we can have a look at that. And again, we can see our grade here. We need to run our calculation, so I'll just click in here, run calculation. And there we have it. So we can see Sophie there who uh, scored 92, she's been assigned first place in the course and she's been awarded with an A. Now you can go into here and sort high to low 
This is uh, a nice little uh, feature as well where it actually tallies up how many uh, A's or B's uh, we've got in there. So basically that's it folks. I uh, hope that is of some use to you and it explains a few things. It certainly should get you up and running in Markbook. Um, if you do have any questions, uh, please come and see me. Okay, now it's your turn.